How you doing, mate? You alright? Hey, man. Yeah, how are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Oh, I did meet you at Santa Pod, didn't I? Yeah. I don't think anyone's seeing the video. Yeah. I've come down to Cornwall, just filmed your mates, uh, Audi uh, A3. Yep. And uh, you've got another family member, haven't you? Another Storm Beast. Yeah. So it's an RS3 8P That's running right. what? Eight nine hundred is it? Uh, yeah, depending on the fuel we're running. Yeah, between between eight and eight and nine hundred, maybe a little bit more, depending on the ambient temperatures and stuff. Wow. Yeah. So um, yeah. how is it you've achieved this level of power, mate? So yeah, I mean, I, I sent the car to Storm and just said, I want I want it powerful. You know, let's go for a big build. Um, let's let's make it as fast as we can, aiming for a thousand horsepower. So we went for a fully built engine. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, internal work, head work. We didn't go for the porting and polishing, we tried it without because we weren't sure if it actually made that much difference. It's performing without without that, so um, yeah. Is it is it a lot extra work to, to do that or I guess yeah, it's a lot more a lot more man hours on, on porting ahead, but there wasn't really any back to back testing to say that one did better or not. So, you know, yeah. we just thought go without and if you need it after then we'll do it. And uh, you say that this is possibly the world's most powerful RS3 or fastest? Of this type, yeah, yeah it's definitely the fastest, mm -hmm. um, as far as I'm aware. I mean, I've had that up for some time now and no one's come forward and said mine's faster. Yeah, I mean, it's it, it's built for it. Yeah. It's doing the time that still... we've, we've got a 10 second dead. Mm -hmm. Trying to get in the nines, but I think we've got some chassis stuff to tweak with it. Yeah, and that's um, full interior, is it? Uh, 10 second it's, flat? it's everything as it comes apart from the wrist seats and okay. like the jack and Rear stuff out of the boot, yeah. Okay. Um, which is probably saving 60 to 70 kilos. Okay. It's surprisingly heavy, that wrist what, seat. What do these cars weigh? They ain't the lightest, are they? They're between 16 and 17 uh, Man, 100 kilos. Is, yeah. How heavy is that? Yeah, it's, it's, it's proper system, heavy, yeah. It? No, yeah, I mean, the four-wheel drive and it's Audi build, so... Yeah. I mean, it's, solid, it's it? comparable, really, to like a, a GTR. GTR is a heavy car, so 1,700 yeah. kilos. Um, Look how small it is. I know, it's deceiving. Yeah. It is deceiving, but I haven't had this corner weighted yet, so mm. we don't actually know its actual weight. Okay. Um, but I'd like to say 16, 1650, something like that. Okay. So yeah. uh, what turbo are we running? Uh, so it's part of the RPC 1000 kit that Storm Development Supply, mm -hmm. um, running the Zona 9567 turbo. Yeah, we've pushed that to a safe safe limit of like 2 bar, 2.1 bar mm -hmm. to make that power. Um, yeah, so like I say, we're happy with it. And what do you think it's running today? I'd like to think with the e-content I've got in the fuel, especially for you today, um, and the cool, cool temperature, maybe 900 plus. <laughs> yeah, 900 plus horsepower. That's in oh high boost. God. So, you know, low, uh, on high boost pump, we were doing around about 800 horsepower. Right. So. And it's a Cyvex as well, you say, yeah. Cyvex ECU, yeah. Mm. Um, so you got you know, low boost, got, we high got, boost switch. Yeah, we got all the switchable maps, mm. um, pops and crackles, and everything in certain maps. Yeah. There's no real quiet mode because it's just it's got straight through exhaust. Yeah. Um, you know, for performance and getting the air out. What what are the numbers for people that are unaware? Not to sixties, hundred to two hundred. So my current time not to sixty, my best with a poor launch, uh, probably down to traction really from the tires, is uh, two point six nine, not to sixty miles okay. an hour. Hundred to two hundred is four point eight six seconds, wow. and then my quarter mile is ten seconds dead. Half miles around. I think I think 15.6. 15.6. Yeah, that's which is quick. is pretty, that's a good time. You're still that's tweaking, aren't you? You're still yeah. like yeah. doing little bits. Yeah, I mean, there. we tuned this back in July. It hasn't had any more tweaks, yeah. any more rolling road runs or anything like that. Mm. I've done probably a good 4,000, 5,000 miles on it since we've mm. tuned it. And it's, yeah, it's running sweet and yeah, it's still, well, still doing well. Were there many people that done stuff to these? Because obviously now it's the new RS3s, everybody just bolting a turbo on. Yeah. They're getting like 7, 750, uh, running E85. Yeah. Uh, this is some serious work to obviously produce. Yeah, I mean, power, a lot of the it? guys run the, the hybrid turbos. I don't know if people are scared of forging them or what. I mean, bang for buck, input wise, if you're going to spend the money, the N MQB stuff is it, it's just faster. It's mm. a faster car, you know. That's the it, new platform. Yeah, the new platform. Even like the the eight V twos, which are you know two th up to two thousand sixteen, mm. they're still fast cars. They were they revised the chassis, the body, everything was yeah. revised. It's so it's more efficient. Yeah. Well, this yeah. car was never built to go fast. Yeah. You know, the most power this car ran ran stock was like two hundred fifty horsepower, the three point two. So. Yeah. I guess it was never designed to be fast. So when they did the RS3 on the first edition, they had to squeeze everything they could out of the chassis. Right. And I'm noticing that now, you know, I'm, I'm pushing the car so hard and I'm just doing 10. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously we've had the conversation about, you know, if you had this equivalent set up in a TTRS, yeah. it'd be a, a bit faster, yeah. wouldn't it? Just yeah. more aerodynamic. Well, this, this car was based on, on um, Storm Development's TTRS that was at the time 
Um, it was the first ge first generation of them, so it was the 8J, and that was running 900 horsepower. Yeah, and, and that's the one that offers now, now like got, they're doing yeah. some bits to it. Yeah, and then that's back in having having a similar build to this again. Um, so you're not done with the car, you're still no, sort of getting no. warmed up. You've only just got it yeah. back on the road, haven't you? Well, we've we've we finished it in July. I've used the car for quite a while. I've done a couple of events. Obviously, went to Pod with the GTR Cartel, hoping for some great things against yeah. them. Um, unfortunately, I only got to do four runs, and then I smashed a rear drive shaft. Okay. Stock sh uh, drive shafts? The all stock drive shafts, yeah, yeah complete stock dr uh, drive train. Apart Replaced from it with a stock one as well? Yeah. The chassis wise, what's going on? Suspension, brakes? Got the uh, sack suspension set up, the coilovers. Mm -hmm. So this is like uh, like the A3, you've got this set up to try and produce like fast quarter mile times? Yeah, or? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's where the competition is really. 0-60s are what they are, you know, if you're doing good quarter miles, your 0-60s is great anyway. Mm. Um, I'd like to see more people doing the half mile stuff because that's where the cars really come into their own. But yeah. aerodynamics are where yeah. you know you're really fighting fighting the natural forces there. Yeah. Okay, James, mate, let's uh, let's hit the road, man. Cool. We'll yeah, let's get right. out there. Yeah? Let's uh, see what it's about. Let's do it, man. <laughs> The man you're traveling four hours and 20 minutes and forgetting your GoPros. Hashtag no sleep gang. Wake up, walk out the door, forget the GoPros. Luckily I've got my phone with me now, showing the front of the road. And uh, yeah, Irish free time. So how long is it you've owned the car and how long has it taken to do this build? I bought the car, um, maybe two years April, come in. Mm -hmm. so, um, and then, actually went pop I dropped a cylinder it was running a TT um, 500 mm -hmm. but it was running the stock injectors so we blew a piston, blew a piston yeah. yeah so I sent it back to storm developments where I got the car from Emmerdale right now, it's all mad round here. So you lived all your life, uh, Jim, yeah? yeah? 
Yeah, you can hear the car sounds totally different now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it's opened up the valve now and the exhaust. And it's what, what did you say, what was the mix, the ethanol mix you're running? So I'm running a, a, a blend of E98 and E85, so I reckon E content's got to be... I ran it down into the red, so I'm probably E80, yeah, yeah. maybe? E75, E80? Cheers. Which is, yeah, so I, you know, when we ran the power on the car, mm. my my mix was like between E60 and E70. Mate, that is. And we were making power, like 900 ish plus. So with the colder temperatures and the higher E content, it's probably doing a bit more. That is. So I've, I've never been a passenger in this car. Yeah. I've been a passenger in the car, but not sending it. So it's a DK500, and yeah. it's the same gearbox from the new R3, isn't it? No, 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 this is the same gearbox from this car originally, from factory. But, but they are the same as the new one as well, aren't they? They are, are small differences. They're slightly different. Same gearbox, but the, the, the mechatronic unit's completely yeah. different. Now, does this make this one less reliable, or like? I don't know about reliability, um, but it's not as good. The new, the, the new stuff's way better, you know, it's just, it's faster changing. grand on the clock but I think it goes it goes past maybe eight two generation RS3 on the CPA engine, the steel block, compared to the 8V2s, they're so refined that you kind of lose that rawness maybe? I don't know, I'm, no, no, I haven't 100%. driven one. Yeah, you've got to really drive this, like even yeah. then, you got up to speed, I was like, you still still got, got to concentrate. Yeah, yeah, very, yeah, got a lot of frustration. Right, let's go. It's drivable, isn't it? It's yeah. like a usable. But as you get to them high power. speeds, yeah, it's a bit like it gets a bit. Mm. Oh, you know, the thing I made me piss myself. Right? think I can compare that to anything I've ever been out in. I am kind of lost for words. I'm trying to think, what can I put that into comparison with? That launch, yeah. and how efficiently that is putting the power down as well. You can see the road, the camber of the road's a bit yeah. dodge, yeah. but you can see the ECU is manipulating, isn't it? And it's putting it down yeah. consistently. I mean, it takes your breath, doesn't it? Like, yeah, even, me, even me driving it, I know what the car's gonna do, but it, it takes your breath. Jim, man, I think I'm gonna end the video there. Cool, mate. Thank you so much for the invite today, and um, yeah, it was brilliant to actually finally get out. I mean, you let me have a drive as well, man. Guest. Um, so, uh, do you want to plug any social media links where people can find you? Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. So, um, I've got my Instagram, which is uh, fastest RS38P or fastest underscore RS38P. Living to the name at the minute. 
until someone else comes <laughs> along and knocks me off that top yeah. spot. And, but yeah, goal achieved. That's what we intended to set out to do. Make a fast, road-going RS3, you know, 8P CPA engine. And we've achieved that thanks to Storm Developments, Andy, Alex, you know, all the work they put into this car over the time that it took to do it, all the research. And, you know, it's blood, sweat and tears into a project like this because we've got a significant financial input and, yeah. you know, it's emotional. Yeah. It is emotional, you know, mm. it affects your whole life yeah. because your funds are aimed at one area. So, Guys, uh, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Uh, I'm sure the camera quality has been okay. If you did enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.